Hi, my name is Steve Geary with GE Aviation Customer Technical Education Center, better known as SeaTech. Today, we're here to present you with the CF-34 engine preservation. Our goal is to keep your engines ready when you are. Today, we're going to talk about primarily the CF-34 engine program, the CF-3410E, the CF-3410A, the CF-348E, the 8C, and the CF-34-3A. We have two types of preservation. One is short-term and long-term. We are going to be focusing on short-term preservation for engines installed on wing, which is essentially from zero to 180 days. The procedure is very simple. You park your aircraft, run the engine up to 70% N1, and stay there for 10 minutes. Once you've done that, you're going to shut the engine down, let it cool, and then open the cells, and look for any areas that need protective caps or may need covering. One important note for the zero to 180 days, this process is renewable. You can do it as many times as you want. However, you want to make sure that you do it before the 180 days expire. If you exceed the 180 days, there could be some penalties, which could include some inspections, chip detectors, uh, inspections, and maybe even some maintenance. So you want to make sure you log it in the book and keep careful track of when you've actually done it. The procedures listed here are the ones that you will follow to get, in, to get more details. For simplicity, we're going to focus on the CF-3410E because really the procedures that we're going to be following are essentially the same. Uh, we get into a little bit of differ differences when we start talking about long-term preservation, but we're going to have a separate video on that later on. Once we've taken care of everything under the nacelle, as far as capping and covering any openings, then we're going to deal with covering the inlet. And the main purpose for covering the inlet is to protect against possible FOD from entering in through the fan and damaging the blades, or also going into the core of the engine where you could actually get FOD into the turbine. The secondary thing is to eliminate the amount of moisture that could gather in the inlet. One area of real concern is back at the abrasive material near the fan. If that gets water on it, it could expand causing excessive rub on the blades when you first start the engine. So once we cover the engine, which we'll show you some more detail later, we're going to go to the aft end and show you how we cover that. So now we're at the aft end of the engine, which is also critical to cover to eliminate the chance of FOD or possible moisture. Now, in this area, you'll see we have the bypass, which is essentially the same area as the front, where if we get moisture in, we could cause damage to composites or abradables. And then we have the vent from the core compartment, which is very, very small. And again, FOD does include possible rodents or insects, and as you know, this would be a great place for beehives, which has happened in some cases. Uh, number three, we have the actual engine, which is uh, going in here to the LPT area, where if rodents or FOD got into there and got into the actual turbine, could then cause some real serious issues when you start the engine up. And finally, you have the aft vent area, where you could have issues with moisture getting in here, or again, rodents, and if they got in there, they could possibly get into the sump areas where you could possibly end up getting uh, damage to bearings and some of the internal workings of the engine. So what we're gonna to wanna to show you is how we're gonna cover this entire area and tightly seal it just like we did to the front. So here's an example of a fuselage mounted engine. This is typical of the CF-34-8C, the CF-34-10A, and the CF-34-3. And so what you have here is you have a front cover that completely covers the inlet, as we had already described, and has a suspender type system which goes back and covers the aft. It's very reliable because both ends work against each other to keep it tightly together during wind and situations like that. Again, the main thing is to keep FOD and moisture out of the inlet and the exhaust. So what we have here is a typical under the wing high bypass engine. This is actually one of our GE90. As you can see in the front of the engine, we have ground support equipment cover with the suspender type straps going back and covering the complete exhaust system. This covers the bypass, this covers the engine exhaust, and this covers the center vent tube, which is very important. Now also in this picture, you can see some singularities such as vents, for instance, looks like the override hole and any other openings. On the CF-34 engine, we have NACA scoops, we have some vents that you'll also want to walk around and inspect and possibly use some waterproof tape or something like that to cover those areas. So I hope this video proves to be helpful to you to help you uh, keep your engines up and running and get them back in operations as soon as you can after preservation.